All right, everybody, what's going on? It's Thundershot, and I am here today to kind of catch some of you guys up who may be left a little bit behind. I know I'm super late on reporting this. That is my bad. I was out of town for a few days, and then right when I got back, my air conditioner on my uh, in my house uh, crapped out on me. It completely shot, and I had to wait the whole weekend for it to get fixed. I was miserable. I was in 85, 90 degree weather all the time, but it's like that Midwestern sticky, humid, hot in here all the time, and it was actually too warm with my computer being where it is under a table, on carpet, my computer couldn't run, it was all I could do to get out my 100k special video, but I couldn't do a lot, uh, bottom line. But no, I'm here today to kind of fill you in on a couple things. Number one, Dragon Ball Super had, had its first manga released a few days ago, and I will link you guys to that in the description below if you guys want to read the first chapter of the Dragon Ball Super manga. Uh, one thing you need to know is that these things are getting released monthly, and when the show comes out soon, the show's going to be getting released weekly. And that's going to mean the show is going to be coming out quicker than the manga, so I hope they're not immediately setting themselves up for filler. But instead, Akira is going to focus more on the manga. Or not on the manga. Akira is going to focus more on the show, and then the manga will kind of go off that. Or they're both going to kind of know the storyline. The manga might come out after the anime, but the anime will have all the manga information beforehand. That's how I'm hoping it plays out, because if not, they're setting themselves up for filler, which they seem way too smart to do at this point. Um, if they were like super in a, in like a need of money or something, I could understand the rush on that, uh, trying to get the show out as fast as possible. But after the success that Battle of Gods had in America and in Japan, and the success that Fukatsu no F already had in Japan and is about to have in Battle of Gods, because that release date, um, or excuse me, uh, that Battle of Gods already had. Fukatsu no F already had in Japan and is about to happen in North America, I should say, because that release date is coming out really soon. Uh, for. Uh, the U.S. for North America, Fukatsu no F is coming to the states really soon. Um, they're they're not in a crunch for they're not in a crunch for money right now. So I'm gonna assume the anime, even though it might come out before the manga chapter gets released, it's gonna have pretty much the exact same information. We're not already setting ourselves up for filler. That's the hope anyway. Uh, anyways, on top of the Dragon Ball Super manga getting leaked, there's also been a new character who is not in the first chapter of the Dragon Ball Super manga. Uh, but he did come out in a V-Jump magazine, his art style. He is essentially, his name is Shanpa. Uh, it's spelled C-H-A-N-P-A, but it's spelled like, or it's said like with an S-H, like instead of Champa, it's Shanpa. Um, he essentially looks like a fat Beerus, and I'll probably throw his picture up on screen. If I forget to do that, the link is in the description down below where you guys can go to the Shanon website and see for yourself what he looks like. But he's just a fat Beerus. He's got a more evil look on his face, kind of, and then he's he's got red around his neck instead of blue which makes uh pretty much everyone who i've talked to so far think that he's gonna be a villain mainly because of the red the fact that he's slightly more evil and then him being fat i don't know if that has anything to do with him being evil or not um along with sean Pot, he actually has his own version of Whis, uh which is a woman he has a female Whis at his side uh, appears to be a woman has a very woman like i don't know body and stuff but yeah it looks like a female Whis essentially um, so yeah, that's a new character. And uh, one thing I've been seeing a lot of, like, m my best guess says that Shampa is, uh, Beerus talked about the 12 dimensions, how there's 12 different universes, 12 different gods of destruction, 12 different, probably gods of creation, and all the, all the things like that in Battle of Gods. And, uh, oh, before I get on with that, I have yet to see Fukatsu no F, and the first, um, chapter of Dragon Ball Super does not have anything to do with Fukatsu no F, like at all. In fact, the first chapter of Dragon Ball Super is before uh, Battle of Gods even takes place, so I will say that, and I'll talk more about that chapter in a second. I, I'm all over the place here, but let me finish talking about Shampa. Um, best guess says that Shampa is from another dimension. He's just one of the gods of destruction, or whatever god kind he may be, uh, from another dimension, and that's why it's similar. That's why he's so similar to Beerus, is because the universes that they're in are similar, but kind of like a multiverse theory almost. Um, that's my best guess, but in reality, we're not going to know until the manga gets released or until we see it on the anime. We're not going to know. And I see people, like, arguing on Twitter. And it's the stupidest thing in the world to me, but I see people arguing on Twitter. Like, oh, is that what the is that what a new character design looks for Dragon Ball Super that's had one manga release and we have no idea what the show is going to be like yet? I'm probably not going to like the show. And I see that, or, like, people making predictions, like, what if it's... Uh, Beerus from the future, that would be cool. If it's not Beerus from the future, Beerus from the past, I'm probably not going to like this show. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, first of all, like, my prediction says Shampa is probably just another dimension form of Beerus. But 
if it's not like I don't know I'm just gonna see where the writing goes I'm not I'm not making predictions I'm not getting upset over this it was just weird stuff I've been seeing on the internet throughout the community lately it was just I didn't understand it, but whatever. Anyway, um, I'm going to kind of give minor spoilers. So if you guys want to read the Dragon Ball Super manga for yourself, I suggest do it now or click off the video or whatever because I'm going to kind of give minor spoilers. There's not a lot of information in the first chapter of the Dragon Ball Super manga, but I did just read it myself. Um, so I'm going to talk about that for a little bit, and I will essentially talk about everything that happened. So if you want to read it first, do it now. Click off the video if you don't want to hear spoilers, but there's not a lot to really spoil. Um, essentially... The, it starts out before Battle of the Gods takes place. In fact, it starts out pretty much immediately after. Like, not the moment, but probably a few days, a month or two maybe, after the Kid Buu fight ends. So technically, we're not even at the end of Z yet. And uh, Goku's farming around, and Hercule so shows up to give him money. And for those of you who don't know, Akira Toyama did an interview where he discloses information before, but it's always kind of been a known thing that uh, Goku got a large sum of money from Hercule for not only saving the world from Boo, but for yeah, he he paid him also for the cell fight. Like they got a bunch of money after the cell fight because like they saved the world, but then Hercule took the credit in exchange for nobody saying, "Hey, Hercule didn't take the or Hercule didn't actually kill Cell or Boo." Um, Hercule just pays him off, kind of, and then they're, they're friends, and they obviously get invited to parties and stuff, as we saw in Battle of Gods. Um, they're, they're friends, but Hercule's like, hey, thanks for keeping your mouth shut, and they're like, oh yeah, we'll save the world anytime. Don't worry about it. Here's a hundred million zenny or whatever. Um, but then we see Beerus and Whis, and there's there's an exchange with another alien planet and things like that. But then Beerus tells Whis right after he blows up a planet, because God of Destruction, he does that thing. Beerus tells Whis, he's like, I had the dream about him. I don't remember if he says I had the dream again or I had the dream about him. Beerus tells Whis, like, I had the dream about him. The Super Saiyan God. And it's weird because they're in space, and Beerus just blew up a planet, and he's looking at Whis saying that. And we know for sure from the Battle of Gods movie... That is not how that happens. So unless um, there's writing that's already needs to be fixed after the first chapter, or they're essentially going to rewrite over the path to Battle of Gods, or he may rewrite Battle of Gods as a whole, just based on this first chapter to maybe include Shampa, or maybe alter some things that he didn't like necessarily, or maybe just to rewrite through the whole Battle of Gods to so that way people who hadn't seen the movie are up to speed. Maybe he's going to treat it like the movie never existed. Um, I will tell you personally, I hope he keeps it as close to the movie as he can. If he decides to go a completely different route, I have full faith in Akira that he will make another good story. But because I liked Battle of Gods so much, I hope he keeps it as close to Battle of Gods or as close to the result of Battle of Gods as he can. Maybe he'll write up into up until the moment of the where Battle of Gods is supposed to start. And there will be a few things different, but other than that, Battle of Gods will essentially take place, and then maybe he'll write after it. Maybe this chapter is just kind of a prologue to Battle of Gods, and then the next chapter is going to pick up right after Battle of Gods happens. We don't know yet. We don't know a lot of stuff. So don't make any, like, I don't know, if I have any advice to anybody, um, not that anyone gives a shit, but don't make any, like, assumptions. Don't be like, oh my god, this is on a really shitty, like, I don't know. Don't be too upset. Don't be too hasty. Don't automatically think it's going to be the worst thing in the world. Maybe it's not too great to get your hopes up to think it's the best thing in the world yet um i just know i have faith in akira and his writings and i'm excited to see more and i'm excited for this anime to start and i'm excited for fukatsu no f to come to america so i can see the english dub and it's all gonna be fantastic and i'm gonna i don't know i'm gonna like it but anyways if you guys have any questions comments or concerns please leave them in the comment section down below like i said i know i'm late on this but everything that i kind of had that was screwing me up for making videos is fixed now um, I did make a 100,000 subscriber special, so if you guys want to see that, uh, the link to that should be in the description down below. If not, it's a very recent video on my channel right now. Uh, but uh, that's going to wrap it up for me today, guys. I want to thank you guys for coming out. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I am Thundershot, and I have introduced Beerus. Or not, well, you guys knew about Beerus, but Shampa, the fat Beerus, and his female waist. Who, the female waist doesn't have a name, by the way. I don't know if I pointed that out earlier or not. Uh, a lot of speculation says her name is probably going to be Wine. Or something to do with wine because beer is beer, Weiss is whiskey, Champa is champagne. So we only assume that the female is going to be associated uh, with wine has been everybody's best guess. And I thought there was one more thing that I wanted to get to. Something I left out from the manga. Maybe not. I'm sorry. Anyways, yeah, wrapping it up for me. Um, 100K special is in the description below if you guys want to check that out. Um, all the links to everything, the manga, the Shannon website where you can read up a little bit more on Champa and whatnot is also in the description down below. And yeah, I have rambled on for too long. I'm Thundershot. I'm out. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe for more Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, Dragon Ball new movie stuff. And peace. Late. Bye. I don't know.